and he told me about the rally. I didn't believe him at the time until we got home, uh, until I got home and looked it up. And sure enough, he was right. It was a shocking image shown through the lenses of a black and white camera. At just seven minutes long, a night at the garden didn't come without its challenges. I didn't want it to be misunderstood as being possibly pro-Nazi or, or glamorizing this group um, because the group is who shot this footage. Marshall Curry sat in the director's chair for the documentary, piecing together footage from the real-life Nazi rally at Madison Square Garden. The original music is this military, martial, upbeat uh, music that's being played, and I, I stripped that out and replaced it with, with a, a moody, um, dark, anxious sound because I, I didn't want people to feel excited and swept up. He took up the project after learning about the event from a friend. And I figured, well, if somebody shot 10 seconds, they have to have shot more than that. And so I got an archival researcher who's a friend of mine, uh, Rich Remsberg, to start looking around, and he contacted a lot of archives. He Curry collected footage that had never been put together before, with shots like this scene showing a man running on stage trying to protest anti-Semitism. His name is, it was Isidore Greenbaum. He was a 20-something-year-old Jewish plumber's assistant from Brooklyn who just went that night to see what was going on. Didn't have plans to, to protest, but when he saw what, he, what was being done and he heard what was being said, he just couldn't control himself and he ran out on stage. He was beaten up, had his pants ripped off, was arrested that night for disturbing the peace. The director says Greenbaum's actions are a lesson for everyone. If we could show people what happened in 1939 when leaders talked like this and did these things, that maybe they'd be a little more vigilant when they see leaders doing the same thing in, in the present day.